Hi everyone, welcome. My name is Billy. Today I would like to share with you three spring summer dresses made from New Look and 6633 pattern. This is part two of the series. For part one, please check out my last video, video number 28. So the first dress I will show you today is this uh, dress uh, made from a, a cotton satin material that I purchased from uh, Moose website. And so here's a close-up of the, of the pattern here. So, uh, so what happened is I thought this one would be perfect for this particular pattern. However, somehow I only have one yard of this fabric at home. And so clearly that was not enough to make the entire outfit. Um, however, I was determined to do it. And uh, even though I only ordered one yard, uh, Mood actually gave me almost 40 inches. So that was long enough to actually make a skirt. So what I did was I shortened the, the length of the, the, the dress itself, the skirt portion, um, by about two inches um, from the other versions and then with the tiniest of a hemline here. And this is the minimum I could get away with using the blind hem foot of my sewing machine. And, uh, and also this is, the short sleeve is also, this is the longest I could cut out. And to actually cut out this dress, the sleeves were actually cut at 90 degrees from the grain, which technically is not quite correct. Um, but because this fabric is not directional, so it's not an issue. Um, one thing I am not so thrilled about is actually this fabric has a bit of a stretch. It's, uh, it has 3% elastane. And um, I purchased this last year when I first started making uh, garments and now I would not have purchased it even though it's a very high quality is from Moose's own proprietary line um, made in Spain but I'm just not thrilled with um, the fabric with elastane because it doesn't definitely doesn't feel quite the same as a hundred percent cotton and I just don't like it uh, both from uh, from the ease of sewing because it does behave a little differently uh, from 100% cotton non-stretch material. And also, I'm, you know, because the elastin is not biodegradable, as far as I know, so I really do try to avoid it. Uh, but overall, I'm very pleased how this turned out. So it really is great. Um, so here is a quick video of this dress. And overall, I'm very pleased with it. One thing that really uh, st stuck out was how different this dress looked. Um, just by having short sleeves and a shorter skirt. It almost didn't look like it's from the same pattern, but it is. Um, so, but overall, I'm very pleased how this turned out. It's exactly what I had wanted out of this fabric, so I'm very happy. So, um, one thing noteworthy about this particular dress is actually it's a happy accident because I only have one yard of this fabric. So of course I need to utilize every single inch of the material that I had. And so therefore I made very liberal use of the salvage as long as the salvage could stay within the seam allowance. And also, also I saw, so here this is, the, I just turned the dress inside out so you can see. So I, uh, so, so see, as you can see, I finished it with a facing, and uh, this is the back of the, the center back of the dress itself. Um, so what happened was, when I was cutting it, I wasn't paying, I guess I wasn't paying too much attention. So as a result, the, the bottom portion of the skirt, actually, uh, even though it was, even though the salvage was within the seam allowance, uh, but as you can see here, the print doesn't really start for another quarter of an inch after the salvage. And as a result, when I was sewing this uh, the dress after I cut it out already, um, I was like, okay, what do I do now? If I just abandon the project, I just wasted this piece of fabric. And so I decided to charge ahead and just increase the seam allowance on this portion anyway to hide the little white spot and because this dress is a 
A-line skirt, so it really didn't affect it whatsoever. So I'm very happy about it. But one one happy accident from this was because um, the the extra seam allowance portion starts just right below the zipper, so sort of a halfway, you know, midpoint of my butt. And because it actually, because of the additional seam allowance, took in more fabric. So as a result, it has a very subtle effect of accentuating uh, my butt. And it's a very subtle, it's not vulgar whatsoever. And then actually I really liked it. And so it was such a happy accident. So, uh, so I decided to adopt it for my other uh, dresses that I will show you today. So, uh, so it is a really a noteworthy part about this particular project is the accidental discovery of how to subtly enhance um, uh, one's buttock um, in a very tasteful way. The second dress that I will show you today is a dress I'm wearing right now. And this is made from a duvet cover uh, from IKEA. That is right, my friends. Things are really this desperate in New York City that I had to resort to uh, duvet covers for, uh, for fabrics to make my dress. You know, so it's so similar to um, Scarlett O'Hara uh, utilizing the green velvet curtain to make her dress. But of course, in New York City, very few people have curtains because everybody has blinds. But anyway, I'm, of course, I'm joking. I purchased this duvet cover about six months ago when I was ordering some furniture from Ikea. And I saw this duvet cover and I just thought it was so cute, so cheerful, and I knew I wanted to make a garment out of this fabric. So that's what I did. So here is a close up of this uh, pattern. And it's 100% cotton, it's about 100 um, thread count, so it's not particularly uh, densely woven. And it has a texture that looks almost a bit uh, linen-y and, uh, and also quite see-through. So a particular thing about this uh, dress is that after I shot the video and I was looking at the video again, I realized how baggy the sleeves were in comparison to the dress. And um, so I decided to slim down the, the sleeves for this version. So what I did was, you know, how the dress uh, uh, sleeve pattern, you know, kind of this and then down. So all I did was just directly reduce by one centimeter on both sides, directly cut across, in, you know, straight down, including the curved portion of the sleeve. And so of course I reduced the overall circumference of the, um, the sleeve portion by two centimeters. And also that I wanted to raise the armhole a little bit anyway. So I raised the armhole by one centimeter and then it had to come in a little bit. So then the overall circumference uh, just below the armhole will stay the same. And so therefore the reduction uh, from the sleeve matches the reduction of the armhole on the bodice. So overall it worked out great. Um, so, uh, so as you can see here, the sleeves fit so much better um, versus the other version. So then I will have to now go back and change the other versions as well. And so here is a quick video of this uh, dress incorporating all the changes I just mentioned. And overall, I really, really like this dress. And for this dress, I also uh, increased the neckline a bit because I saw the high round neckline. Um, could look a bit severe and so I wanted to have a bit more relaxed look for this one and so I lowered it just a little uh, so to, to give me a wider neckline and because this fabric is quite see-through so I also lined it uh, with cotton lawn that I have at home because I have a fairly dwindling supply of uh, white china silk and since I didn't know how well this IKEA fabric will hold up I decided not to align it with my china silk. But overall, I am incredibly pleased uh, with this uh, dress itself. So, uh, so I, I cannot wait to be able to wear this. The third dress that I will show you today 
is this a uh, this dress uh, made from a, a quilting cotton that I purchased from Walmart and it has a very cheery cherry uh, design so here's a close-up of this uh, dress here and so this dress reflects all the changes that I've made on this one and the only difference is that this one I I made a bow neck uh, for this one um, somehow when I saw this fabric um, I knew I wanted to make a bow neck version for this one and uh, so I was very glad I was able to do it out of a uh, two yards of 44 inch quilting cotton um, the challenge I have for this one is because um, this fabric is directional so I have to cut everything in a certain way and um, so I was able to cut out the bodice the you know the both the front and the back however for the sleeve portion there was just not enough fabric um, to cut it in this particular direction so what I did was I removed the um, the pleats um, at the near the cuff area, and that saved me four centimeters of width. And so I just uh, reduced the overall width of the sleeve from the bottom of the curve, you know, on the pattern. And so the curve did not change. And so I just go down directly like this, you know, by. Uh, by two centimeters on either side of the bottom of that sleeve pattern and then so so there are no cuffs for this one but I'm, I'm sorry so there are no pleats on this one but the cuff remains the same size and so that's the uh, that's what I did for this one so it's the front looks like this and the back is also a very nice sort of a wide and shallow uh, bow neck um, in the back and so here is a quick video of this cherry dress and I'm really really pleased how it worked out I, I really really like how after all the modifications this pattern has really come along really nicely and so I am very pleased how this turned out and it's such a happy cherry cherry design and it's perfect for spring and also uh, for early summer um, so I hope you know I will get to wear it soon enough so these are the three spring summer dresses that I recently made using the new look pattern N 6633 view a I hope you have enjoyed the video and have found the discussions about the modifications that I made helpful um, thank you so much for watching and uh, I hope you will stay safe and I hope I will see you soon bye bye